Let's talk about the best natural remedy for HPV, human papilloma virus. Now, HPV is one of the most common STIs. This is sexually transmitted infections. Now, you may be used to something called STDs, which is sexually transmitted diseases, but 90% of people who have HPV have no symptoms whatsoever. It doesn't develop into cancer or other symptoms. So that's why they call it the STI versus the STD. It's not necessarily a disease, it's an infection which could turn into a disease. Now, one of the problems with human papillomavirus is that it can cause cervical cancer, cancer of the vagina, penis, anus, mouth, throat, and other parts of your body. And a very common cause of death for women is cervical cancer. And the number one cause of this is this virus right here. So what this virus does is it goes into the cells and it kills a lot of them, it damages others, and they start to develop a different form of metabolism. They will actually start fermenting glucose. And it's part of an ancient um, survival mechanism. And basically they flip over from a healthy cell to a cancer cell. And one unique thing about cancer cells is they now don't have a limit to how long they can live. They become immortal and they just keep reproducing and they can grow and they can grow and they can grow. However, there's a very, very good remedy that basically has no side effects. It's used in over 700 hospitals in Japan. Yale and Harvard is interested in researching this compound uh, as we speak. And it's AHCC, active hexose correlated compound. Basically, it's an extract from a mushroom. Don't ask me how to pronounce this, but you can just look this up and I'm gonna put some links down below and you'll find all sorts of research, hardcore research on the effectiveness of this natural compound on keeping this in remission and enhancing your immune system. It'll enhance the natural killer cells and the phagocytes, which are part of the innate immune system. And just one of the things that the natural killer cell does is it not only kills viruses, like that one, but it also kills tumor cells. So here we have this enhancement of the immune system that can really help to not just keep this in remission and disable it, but to also kill any abnormal cells that are growing in your body. Now, the other thing that's enhanced is interferon. Interferon comes from the word interfere, which means that this weapon that this guy right here makes and certain T cells basically interfere with the reproduction of viruses. And then of course we have the T cells, which is part of the acquired or the adaptive immune system, which are all kind of like special forces in handling viruses and even cancer. There's also an enhancement of neutrophils. So neutrophils actually consume viruses. And then there's also an increase of detoxification enzymes like glutathione, which helps clean up all the free radical damage. So it's very, very effective for that virus. And I'm not gonna give you any brand names. You can do that research. I just wanna point you in the right direction. I would also recommend taking vitamin D, D3 specifically, at a dosage between 10,000 to 20,000 international units. Because vitamin D is considered an antiviral and it will also decrease the risk of this virus being activated. The key is keeping this virus in remission. And how do you do that? Staying healthy, having enough zinc, vitamin C, and vitamin D, making sure that your diet is not high in carbs, and keeping your stress as low as possible. Thanks for watching. Hey, we're back. With another amazing recipe. No grains, no sugar, totally keto. There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely. You have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself. It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.